Hey everyone, it's Blaze VR from VRBlend.com, and I've just found something super cool on the Oculus subreddit. Apparently, a website called WCCFTech.com has revealed that the new NVIDIA 1080 GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 is going to be announced on the 6th of May at the NVIDIA Editors event, and it should be available to buy by Computex 2016 in June. So we're gonna be having we're gonna have our hands on the new Pascal graphics cards this June, which is really exciting. And um, if you don't know what Pascal is, it's it's the new architecture that Nvidia have built their new graphics cards or will be building their new graphics cards off of. Um, it's supposedly meant to be a massive leap in performance from the GTX nine seventy, for example. Um, or the GTX 980. So th the big news about this is that it's gonna it's gonna push the boundaries of what you can do in VR. It's gonna be really good for VR. Um, you're gonna be able to play games, have more graphically intense games, and it's gonna be able to pave the way for higher resolution VR headset displays, and be able to be able to power more 4K gaming rigs. Um, it's big news, big news especially for VR. Um, Hopefully the price range is similar to the GTX 900 series. Um, I paid about 200 and something pound, 270 pound for the my GTX 970. So hopefully the 1070 is around the same price range. I'm probably not going to be jumping out and buying one just yet, at least for my PC. I'm hoping what's what's going to be big for me is the GTX 9 or the GTX 1070 M. For um, gaming laptops, I'm looking forward to seeing what what they can bring to gaming laptops. Um, the Pascal architecture, as I said, is meant to give you a massive leap in performance. Oh, well, a massive leap in performance compared to the GTX 970, for example. Um, so I'm just I'm more looking forward to seeing what it can do inside a laptop. Um, an MSI laptop in particular. I've been I've been looking to buy a gaming laptop for a while now, but I want I want one that can handle VR and then that meets the the minimum VR specs. And those are quite those are quite hard to come by at the moment, at least affordable ones. Um I don't think the GTX nine seventy M can support many graphically intense VR games. But hopefully if if Pascal architecture is really meant to be a big massive leap forward and then hopefully the 1070M or the 1080M for gaming laptops will be more than sufficient for like baseline VR experiences. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the laptop version. Um, hopefully it's available in June. I'm not, that's, it's supposedly available in June, by June for the desktop version. Um, I'm not sure about the mobile equivalent yet, but hopefully it's not far behind. But yeah, guys, um, I thought that would be interesting to share. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Please hit the red subscribe button to see more VR videos because I'm going to be doing a lot more VR videos and tech videos. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. And thanks for watching.